From St. Basil's Church on the campus of the University of St. Michael's College in downtown Toronto, the National Catholic Broadcasting Council presents Daily Mass. The televising of today's Mass is made possible by a contribution from Margaret of Toronto, Ontario. This Mass is offered for the repose of the souls of Stephanie Bavis and Joseph Forward and for a special intention. May their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God, rest in peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, may God, the God of the living and the dead, be with you all. God is with us, invisible maybe, but a very powerful presence, a presence that accompanies us through the ups and downs of every day, through the simple things and the more spectacular things. Let us enter into the presence of our God. May God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, strengthen our faith, hope, and love. May we do with loving hearts what you ask of us and come to share the life you promise. Grant this through Jesus, your Son, who lives now with you and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. In the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne high and lofty, and the hem of his robe filled the temple. Seraphs were in attendance above him. Each had six wings. With two they covered their faces, and with two they covered their feet, and with two they flew. And one called to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. The pivots of the thresholds shook at the voices of those who called and the house filled with smoke. And I said, Woe is me, I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphs flew to me, holding a live coal that had been taken from the altar with a pair of tongs. The seraph touched my mouth with it and said, Now that this has touched your lips, your guilt has departed, and your sin is blotted out. Then I heard the Lord of, voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. The word of the Lord.
The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, A disciple is not above the teacher, nor a slave above the master. It is enough for the disciple to be like the teacher and the slave like the master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebul, how much more will they malign those of his household? So have no fear of them, for nothing is covered up that will not be uncovered and nothing secret that will not become known. What I say to you in the dark, tell in the light. And what you hear whispered, proclaim from the housetops. Do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather fear the one who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? Yet not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father. And even the hairs of your head are all counted. So do not be afraid. You are of more value than many sparrows. Everyone, therefore, who acknowledges me before others, I also will acknowledge before my Father in heaven. But whoever denies me before others, I also will deny before my Father in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Amen.